Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to navigate the system using an Xbox 360 controller. Before we get started, there's a few things that you have to know. Uh, one, you cannot use a third-party Xbox controller. It has to be original Microsoft. So no rock candies or any of those other third-party controllers. Um, if you want it to be plug and play, it has to be original Microsoft. You can of course add those other third-party ones in, but it's a bit more complicated. I have a tutorial down below in the description that will show you how to do that. But if you want the most headache-free and, and plug and play uh, solution, just go ahead and get yourself an original Microsoft Xbox controller. Now, if you already own wireless Xbox 360 controllers, there's a few things to know. You cannot use the charging cable that it comes with to charge the controller uh, that goes to USB, that will not work. So if you have a wireless controller already, you will need to purchase this wireless dongle here. And you can find this on Amazon. Um, I'll pull it up here on the computer. And you wanna type Xbox 360, and then you wanna do wireless dongle for PC. And that is going to pull it up right here. Now, there's a few third-party ones of these as well. Uh, you do not want one by HDE or anything like that. You want to get the original one by Microsoft. So this first link here would be it. And there you have it. The other thing to know is if you do have a wired, original wired from the factory Xbox controller like this one here, uh, that will work. So this is what you actually want if you want it to be wired. Okay, so next up is if you don't have a controller at all, and you want to get an Xbox 360 controller, you want to make sure that you get the one that is for PC. So we're going to go back to Amazon and you're going to type in Xbox 360 wireless and then you're going to do uh, controller instead of dongle. Controller for PC. Uh, if you click on this link right here, 4222. This one says Microsoft Xbox 360 wireless controller for Windows and Xbox 360 console. So that one already comes with the receiver and each controller comes with a receiver, but you only need to plug in one receiver uh, into your computer and that's gonna allow you to sync four controllers to that receiver. Uh, of course, if you're getting the uh, receiver or if you're syncing more than one than the controller that it comes with to the receiver, you want to plug it into the computer. And then you're going to press this button right here until the light starts to flash. This LED right here will start to flash. And then you also want to press this button on top of the controller and then it's going to sync up to this one and then it'll it'll light up the corresponding player so player one will light up here two here three here and four here okay i think that about covers the guys it's just to recap one it must be original xbox if you want it to work out of the box two if you already own xbox 360 wireless controllers you cannot use the charging usb cable you have to get one of these wireless receivers if you do not own them, you want to buy the one that is for Windows. So if you type in Xbox 360 wireless controller for PC on Amazon, you wanna get the one that pops up and that's gonna have the receiver already included. And last, if you have one that is uh, wired like this, that is fine, that will work perfectly fine. And just remember that they all must be original Microsoft to work out of the box. All right, I think I made that pretty clear for you guys. So let's get right into Hyperspin and uh, see how to use these controllers to navigate the system. Okay, so when you boot up the machine, you're gonna get this screen here, and this pretty much tells you all the functions of the controller. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, but we're gonna go over it anyway. So first thing you see there is press the Xbox guide button to search. If you do that, it's gonna pull up a search for you like this, and you can search by game name or any other parameters. So let's say you were looking for Pac-Man. You would scroll around like this. I like to use the D-pad. You can also use the uh, joystick. And then you're gonna press either start or A, the green button. Both do the same thing in here. They both, they're both the equivalent of enter. So we're gonna go over to P and press the green button, then A, then C. And uh, I'm not sure if you have to do it together or with a space. So this is something you guys could try different search uh, you know, search words, just like you're using a uh, search engine. So let's see if Pac-Man brings anything up. And yep, that's how you want to type it without space. So here you have a bunch of results for HB MAME. And then below you're going to have all the MAME 
games. There's a ton of these, so let's go up. And you can scroll over to the right to single out MAME. Okay, so here we go, singled out MAME. Now this one is only pulling up two results. So that means, I know there's more Pac-Mans here, so that means we have to try a different keyword. So we're gonna back up with the red button or with the back button. So let's do the red button. Okay, let's backspace BS on that. And uh, we might wanna try it with space. And uh, there we go. Uh, this one brought up different results. Uh, now I, I know there are still more than this, so let's try. Uh, sorry about that, let's bring it up again, okay. Let's try P, A, C, and then we might wanna do a dash, and then man. Okay, let's try that. There we go, that's what we want. This is the one that's gonna give you all the results. So as you can see guys, try different keywords if you're not finding a game right away because it's possible that you're just not searching for the correct keyword. So as you can see, this one pulls up a lot more games than the other keywords did. All right, so to exit, we're gonna press um, the B button. Now before I do that, if you wanted to actually play one of these games, all you have to do is go over to the game highlighted and press either start or the green A button and that's gonna take you into the game. So let's actually try that. It's loading. Okay, once you're in the game, uh, what you want to do is you want to insert credit and you're going to do that with the back button. So I'm gonna press that and as you can see, it's inserting credit at the bottom there and then you should press start. Now for most games, you can use either the D-pad or the joystick to uh, to control your character. So you can see I'm using the D-pad there and I can switch over the joystick and use that as well. Um, and then the functions within a game that you have access to are search, uh, I'm sorry, uh, special pause and regular pause. So if you press the guide button, that's gonna take you into the special pause menu. And in here you have different options like save state, load state, and other things that I will go into in, into more detail on another video. So for now, just know that this guide button uh, is used to access this menu here. Now to exit, you can press the same guide button or you can press the back button. So let's try pressing the back button. That takes you back into the game. Now as a backup, if your guide button isn't working, you can press down on the right joystick uh, not directional down, but down like a button, so like this. And that'll bring up the menu as well. Okay, let's get out of here. The other uh, uh, option you have is the regular pause, which is simply gonna freeze the frame. So to access that, you're gonna press back and then X. And as you can see, that freezes the frame. Uh, the back button always acts as a shift key. So anytime you press that one and you press another one of the buttons at the same time, uh, it acts as a second, a secondary option for all of those other buttons. So um, if you were in the game and you were playing and, and this game, uh, let's say in this game this was punch, when you would press it within the game by itself, it would be punch. But if you hold down back and then press it, then it becomes pause. Okay? So that's basically it for the, uh, the functions within a game. Now if you're done playing and you want to exit the game, again you're going to press back which is shift and then you're gonna press start at the same time. So back and start at the same time. It's gonna kick you out and bring you back to the main menu. Now that we're back here, um, you have other options. So if you look at this uh, layout here, you can see that X uh, says uh, genre and Y says favorite. You can also control the volume with the right joystick up and down. And uh, you can actually control the volume with, within the game. And I forgot to mention that, but you press down shift. If you're inside a game, you press down shift and then up or down at the same time to control the volume. If you're out here in the menu system, you can just press it up and down without pressing down shift. Okay, so let's take a look at genre and favorites. So let's go into MAME and let's uh, highlight it like this or scroll over to it. And then we're gonna press A or start. So let's do A. And let's say you want to take a look at your genres. 
Uh, now, if you forget, you can just go back, scroll up once, and then you can see that X is genre and Y is favorites. So let's go back to MAME, press A to enter, then we're gonna press X, and that took us over to the genres. Now here, everything's broken down by manufacturer, or, you, or it's broken down by uh, type of game, so action games, uh, you know, boxing, etc. cetera. Uh, to go into one of these genres is the same thing, you press A, and it takes you forward. If you wanna go back, you press B, and that takes you back. And it, that takes you all the way back to the main menu. So you go into MAME again by pressing A, and you're back here. Now, let's say you wanna go into a genre and start a game. You would press X, select whichever genre you're looking for. Uh, let's say you wanna do Capcom games. And let's say you wanna do 1942, then you select it and you press A. And that's gonna launch the game. All right, so let's get out of the game by pressing back and start at the same time. And that takes us back here. And then we're gonna press the genre button that takes us back to all the genres. And if you press it again, it doesn't do anything. So you wanna go, you wanna go back to the main menu by pressing B. And that's gonna take you back to the main, main menu where all of the games are. Now you have a favorites list you can access by pressing Y and you can do view favorites or add to favorites. So the way you would add to favorites is you would go over to the game that you wanna add, select it, then you would press Y, and then you would go down with a D-pad, add to favorites, and you would press A. And that added, to your that added the game to your favorites. So then you would go up to view favorites and then you would press the letter A, and that would take you into the favorites wheel. And there's already games here because I've added some, but uh, the game you just added would be would be right in here. If you just wanted to go into the favorites, not add a game into the favorites, we're gonna back up. Oh, sorry about that. All right, we're gonna exit this. Back up. If you just wanted to view your favorites, you would go into a into a system, and then you would press Y, and then when it says view favorites, you, se you select that. It should already be selected. You're gonna press A, and that's gonna take you in to select the game. And that's about it guys, that's pretty much all the navigation that you need. Um, we're gonna back up once here, it takes you back to the main system. And then the last thing would be if you wanna exit, uh, you know, you're done playing, you wanna shut down the computer, once you're in the main system, if you press either back or B, it's gonna ask you, would you like to exit? And if you press A or start to yes, it's just gonna go ahead and shut down the computer. So we're gonna say no and that brings you back in here. And uh, that's it guys, that pretty much covers the navigation. Uh, I hope that was helpful. Um, as always, leave a thumbs up below if you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.